We have now completed the Bone Voyage and that has unlocked the most AFK method to train combat stats in my opinion in the game which is the Ammonite Crabs. Very relaxing, can just go there and AFK 100 HP with 0 stat creatures. And this is where I am going to train up most of my skills, at least early game, to a decent level. It is actually pretty good experience. I have a counter here so you guys can see how much experience I've got. And it is just purely AFK. I think you have to move like every 5 minutes or something to reset their aggro and that's about it. So there's going to be 2 detours I'm going to make during this video or maybe more we will see how long this video actually is. And that is the prayer levels from Green Dragons and then also Soul Wars. You might be wondering Wait, why Soul Wars? Well, because the supply crates that you get from Soul Wars is actually insane. Uh, they cost 30 seals and they give a lot of bolts that I'll need for Solra, as well as actually raw sharks that I do need for the Fremenic Trials quest, the raw sharks. And then after that I can do the Fremenic Isles for the Nate is not helmet, which is actually the one I want to use for Solra. Unfortunately, I can't bring my accumulator in here because you do need to have a cape equipped from the minigame, of course. But it's actually pretty decent combat training here, so I'll get some range levels through this anyways. Because you also get these potions of power that boosts my level by quite a bit, you can see there. And that makes me hit pretty consistently on these creatures, and yeah, the range experience is decent. Holy shit, I just opened four crates, I have one left. Look at this loot, this is from 4 crates! No sharks though, so I will hopefully get it on the last one, otherwise I have to do some more. But, uh, oh my god, I got a cabbage. But look at this, adamant bolts, runite bolts, I can tip these uh, with, uh, I think these with onyx and these with the, uh, like, ruby, and I can use that for Solra. And look at this, 270 death runes, that is a lot of Ibans blast casts. If I get a tome of fire then i actually have only death runes as cost so that would be perfect got myself another eight and my range level by the way is currently 48 so i've gained a decent amount of levels from this let's see what we get and i'm actually just going to open all of these on video so you guys can see what the loot is like and the first one is some arrows, very nice. There we have it, raw sharks. That is why I did this. So doesn't really matter what I get now. Regardless, it is just cheddar. Look at that, rune play body. That is a lot of alk. And Snapdragon is also super restores and Raynar is prayer potions. So you can see how this is super good for Iron Man. Even more raw sharks and the last one. Soul runes, death runes and adamant bolts. That is the best one I've probably got. That's 250 Iban casts and 301 bolts for Solra. Perfect. You can see on the right side here, this is all the things that I got from 13 crates. And I actually was very unlucky with the games. I think I played like 10 games and maybe lost like 8 of them or 7. So yeah, you can definitely get even more spoils of war than I did in the time frame. So yeah, definitely super nice for Iron Man. This is 160 Alks as well. Now that I have the raw shark, I might as well complete the Fremenic Trials and Fremenic Isles for the Nate is Not Helmet. Of course, I can't equip it before I get some higher levels, but I want to have it done. The quests are a bit annoying, but I also need 40 crafting, and that is the only skill requirement except I think maybe 20 construction, which is super easy, that I have to get. And for that, I'm going to do Elemental Workshop, Observatory Quest, and then maybe some normal skilling. 23 to 28 crafting, so let's do the observatory quest. It only gives like 2k crafting, so probably will only get, yeah, one level and maybe half. For some reason, I didn't even know that I could complete this quest, but uh, I actually just did Elemental Workshop 2 instead. I'm going to do Observatory Quest probably after, but that gives 7.5k crafting and smithing as well. And the Mind Helmet, I think, is a medium task as well. Yeah, there we go. So that is another thing off the list. And 36 smithing as well as 33 crafting. And that is the observatory quest completed for some minor crafting experience and I am 500 of 35 so the way I'm probably going to have to get that is by doing molten glass to 40. Of course I have been AFKing ammonite crabs and now and then and my range level is now actually at 59 and pretty close to 60 as well so we are getting closer to that 70 goal but it is very time consuming. I think it was like... I calculated 25 hours of Ammonite Crabs from like 55 to 70, so 
I mean, it's going to take a while, but uh, I'm going to soon take a break here and do some Winter Thought because I need to get 25 Fletching because that is the requirement for Fremenic Trials and then also 40 Crafting, of course. So, uh, yeah, let's get that done as a sidetrack. Me and Max Nick, aka Grazed Cat, actually did some Winter Todd for 25 Fletching, and this is basically what happened and what loot we got. <laughs> My loot was so bad, oh no. I got 7 pages as like the best uh, drop, but then I also got some money, I guess, so that's not oh, that bad. 30k, that's actually quite a bit. I didn't actually yeah. get a single money drop, and I think the money drop No really way. Common. Holy shit. Yeah, that is. Kind of unlucky, but you got the magic seed, which is very nice. Oh, the magic seed brings up my value by quite a bit. I'm <laughs> 220k why versus 84k. Yeah, it's 150k at the magic seed right there. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Well, anyway, I appreciate you doing the grind with me. It looks like I'm probably still gonna be here for a while, so good luck yep. on your, on your uh, Zora grind. Thank you. I'm probably gonna come back here now and then to get some more chances at the uh, magic logs and uh, Tomo fire mostly. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, hopefully, I can get one of those soon. But yeah, I'll give you the bolts now so you can uh, make the bolts for me in the future for Solra that I'll need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll go ahead and make this exchange. This looks 800k like for how much? For what? 2k. This looks like the most fair trade in the world. I'm g I'm gonna get scammed. I got scammed. The, ab the absolute giant scam. But that is a <laughs> ton of Addy bolts. Yeah. So I I will probably stay here to at least grind out the level to make diamonds. That's perfect, dude. My weapon for Solra is going to be a rune crossbow and getting one from Crazy Archaeologist is actually not that hard and that also gives me some magic training and I need protect from range for that and that is 40 prayer done. So now I do have that, I can use it for the Crazy Archaeologist and basically take zero damage from it. I got a dual ring from Max Nick, the guy that I just did Winter Todd with, to be able to teleport to Ferox Enclave because I do want to try 500 casts of the, uh, what is it even called, Firebolt on the Crazy Archaeologist, so let's see what we can get. First kill is going to be one shark, Mage of the Ruins, yeah, that is the first kill. I realized I had a lot of death runes from Soul Wars and I actually had the level to do Wind Blast so I actually changed to that spell instead so I brought 200 casts of that. It was pretty slow with Chaos spells so let's see how fast this is going to be with death spells. I don't really feel like sweating out prayer flicking on this boss, I kinda just wanna camp the prayer and my DPS is pretty bad at the moment so I actually ran out of prayer like in the exact end of the kill. So this should be the kill if I just hit it like one more time. But uh, I'm thinking about getting a holy symbol, it should help quite a bit. Coins, yeah, getting a holy symbol is very easy and it gives a good amount of prayer bonus so I'm going to go ahead and get that to be able to AFK a bit more. I can say that this is definitely not efficient, you can see the boss is actually dying almost at the same time as my prayer runs out, but in the end I do have to flick. But um, I think I'm just wasting too many death runes at this point because I have only 44 magic and I'm splashing quite a bit on the boss. This will be the last kill I'm going to do, I'm actually going to run out of prayer, hopefully I don't get KO'd. But um, I'm going to go back to this boss when I get at least like 50 or something, maybe a bit higher than that even, because I might go here when I have Fire Blast instead of using Wind Blast. I actually don't have any more prayer now. Please die? Would be very nice if I don't get KO'd now, I might have to run away and like eat. I have a shark at least, so... Oh, getting some hits, please die. Oh my god, it's not dead. I need a hit! Come on! Oh my god, I have to run. No, I don't wanna die! I think that's it. I think he's dead now. Okay, so the last kill we're going to do is white berries. So yeah, this is definitely not worth it. I mean, I used like 80 death runes on my kill, so it is pretty slow. So I'm just going to go and train magic later, and I'm going to probably try to do Fremenic Trials now, which needs 40 crafting, so let's do that. Unfortunately, in this video, I won't be able to get the Natus Knot Helmet, because I need to wait for some people to be able to do the Fremenic Isles. I can do the Fremenic Trials as soon as I get 40 crafting here, but there's actually like a hidden woodcutting and crafting requirement for Fremenic Isles, which is, I think it's 58 something, 56 woodcutting and 46 crafting, and I don't want to go for them myself. Itself. The reason why is because you need to make the yak hide armor during the uh, Fremenic Isles and you also need to cut some trees that require a bit higher wood cutting. On normal accounts you can just buy them, but on Iron Man of course you can't do that. But uh, we do have people in the group that have all of those stats, so we are actually fine, but I do have to wait for them and I don't want to postpone the video too much. And there we go, 40 crafting, let's do the Fremenic Trials quest. 
Actually, the first maze random I've got, I got 75% of the reward left, so let's see what we actually get for this one. Would be nice with some death runes or something, and we got coal, and we got some steel arrows, so that was pretty bad. I don't have protect from melee, and I'm not sure I will be able to do this boss. Hopefully I can, I just brought full inventory of Salomon, but my melee stats are pretty bad. Well, I guess the answer is no, but the last phase had 26 HP, so I guess I can just get like some strength potions, maybe some better gear, maybe a recoil ring, but I don't know if anyone has that. I am getting some ring of recoils and some karam ones from a friend, but he is at sand crabs and he doesn't really want to leave, so I'm going to just go there and pick it up myself. 200 karam ones and two rings of recoil, perfect, that should be enough. Finally, we're done with the quest. It is not the most enjoyable quest, but look at that experience drop on the right side. And I can actually now buy Archer's Helm, but I don't really have the money for it. So I'm going to save that for the future, but it is a decent helmet. Look at all those levels, Jesus. So for magic training, I've realized a good way of probably doing that is a bit at least through barrels to have the chance of getting some of the carols or maybe even Arim's items that will be very useful for Solra. So I'm actually going to have to unlock fairy rings because if I want to do barrels without fairy rings, it is terrible. So I'm going to have to do the Lost City quest as well as the Fairy Tales Part 1, which is not too bad, but it is something I do have to complete. Apparently I have to do Nature's Spirit as well, but that is Lost City completed. By the way, this is the fairy ring right here that I'm going to use for barrows in the future. Very nice, nature spirit completed, some crafting hit points, defense I think as well. Did I get any levels for that? 41 crafting and I think 33 defense, very nice. For fairy tales part 1, the item requirements I got was a nature talisman and the way I'm going to get that is through the abyss and apparently I can't go there yet so I have to unlock it. I was afraid this would take a long time, there we go, that's nature talisman that took probably like 50 kills. I needed an avanto herb and irit leaf as well for the quest and I can't clean them, it requires like 48 herb lore, but you can actually go to Sahur which is in Narda and she will just clean them for 200 GP each. So that is an easy way of getting that done. And that is now Fairy Tales Part 1 completed and we get of course the Magic Secateurs as well which is good for farming as well as 3.5k farming. I think that's 17 if I'm not wrong. Yeah, 17 farming from 1 so that's a nice boost but uh, we only need to start the Fairy Tales Part 2 and do like some minor things and then we should have fairy rings. I'm not entirely sure but I think the way I'm going to do this, by the way I can use fairy rings now and I just teleport it to here, this is the place I want to get to and then I just jump over here and I can just run to barrows all the way over here. I think the way I'm going to bank from barrows is just teleport to the uh, Ardoin monastery, bank there and then run down a bit and go to the fairy ring just below that. I know what you might be saying, this video has been all over the place and I would agree, but basically all the things I've done has been because that was a good moment to do it because of my teammates and all that, and also it is very good things for the account to be able to do Solra as efficient as possible. You guys will see of course in the future videos what I'm talking about, all of these things will be very clear then. So, hope you guys did enjoy the episode, my stats are on the screen right now, I managed to get 40 prayer but that's about it. And I want to get to 45 as my end goal, maybe even higher because of course if I start doing solo though I might be get dragon bones as well as a drop and I can just raise the prayer level that way. We will have to see but mostly 70 defense, 70 ranged and 70 magic is the goal when I want to start doing solo. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want to see future content. Also, I will actually post a link on the top of the description, or not the description, in the comment section I'll do it, where there is a playlist to every single video in every single YouTuber in our team that is put into a list where you can watch all of our first episodes, then second, and third, and so on. So if you want to do that, go check that out. Have a good one, guys. Take care.